Hi, Cecilia. Thanks for your uh, question about graphing natural log graphs here. I have uh, graphed the original um, ln of x graph right here. Um, so again, it's kind of like the exponential graph. It's actually the inverse of the exponential graph, but it, it has a vertical asymptote at this time at x equals 0. Okay, uh, And it goes through 1, 0 if there's no shifts or anything funny going on. And it kind of goes forever up and to the right. Um, this graph here is basically the same graph as this one, but the plus 4 just means it's shifted up 4. So we have 1, it's right here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's right there. So the graph goes like this, and then through 4, and then like that there. All right, and then um, the domain of this graph is from... See how the domain is only the x value? See how it doesn't go through x at all over here? It starts basically at 0. So we have 0 here, comma, and then it goes all the way to infinity because this graph goes forever to the right. Now the range um, is a little different. If I draw any horizontal line throughout here, it will always go through this graph right here. So this goes up forever down here, and this goes forever to the right and up. So there's no limitations on y, so y can be anything. So it'll be negative infinity to infinity. All right. Um, I'll also show you a way to put it. If you want to make a chart, you can. Basically, we have to solve for x now. So what you want to do is take the 4, subtract 4 to both sides. So you get y minus 4 equals ln of x. Now, in order to change this to um, exponential form, you take the base, which is, since it's ln, the base is e. So you do e raised to the whatever's over here, so in this case y minus 4 equals, and then the argument of the log, which is x. Okay, so then you would uh, plug in some values here, um, x and y. And normally we'd actually plug in x values, but in this case you want to plug in y values, so it's a very different. And then see how the y value that makes this 0 is 4? So you're going to want to center your y values around 4. So you'd plug in 2, 3, 5 and 6. So you plug those in for here, plug them in your calculator, get your x values, and then when you plot those points, you will get a graph that looks just like this one right here. All right, thanks, Cecilia.